I learned this trick from Tom at SweetMarias.com. That's where I get my green coffee beans and where I bought this roaster many years ago. He shows a trick with a new version of this roaster of stirring the beans for the first couple of minutes because the air doesn't move them around enough to get an even roast. So if you stir them, you'll get a much better roast. But the problem that he points out and the one that the manufacturer is concerned about is that when you stir the beans with a coffee roaster on, it blows chaff all over the place. And they're concerned that the roaster may suck the chaff down inside itself and cause a fire at some point. And in fact, it will suck a lot of chaff down in the machine because I did this a lot without this little vacuum that I'm using here. If you have a vacuum that has a hose attachment or a shop vac, or even um, a hand vacuum works if you've got a, a new bag in it, but you can hold the vacuum over the top of the roasting chamber and it will suck up most of the chaff before it gets out into the room and makes a much neater operation and avoids the problem of getting chaff down inside the machine. Another benefit of using the vacuum is that it sucks the hot air away from your hand and keeps it from getting hot, which it will even with a long handled spoon. So that's a real advantage. Another thing you'll notice about this machine, very old, is that I have some pipe clamps around the outside of the machine. Now, the reason I started with the first ones was that the one at the top was that the top of the roaster around the roasting chamber, the plastic started getting these radial cracks. And what made me notice is what was it got very loud. It was this kind of a rattling noise that the roaster made. So I found that I could hold the, with my hands, hold the top of the uh, roaster, press it inward, and that would stop the rattling. And so I got the idea of putting the pipe clamps around the top to keep the cracks from getting any bigger, take the stress off of that area, and also to make it a little quieter. And I, I noticed when I put my hands on the body of the roaster, it made it much quieter. So I got the idea, well, I'll just add a few more pipe clamps on there and see if that will result in a quieter operation. And in fact, it did. So the roaster is still growing strong and roasting all my beans. And happy roasting to you.